In 1998, Real Madrid reached the Champions League final to face Juventus, who were considered the best team in the world at the time, playing in their third consecutive final. Meanwhile, Real Madrid hadn't won the title in 32 years. The last time they lifted the trophy, everything was still in black and white, so they had no choice but to win it this time, or die trying. And they did just that, beating Juventus with a single goal, scored by Mijatovic in the 66th minute, and they had to defend for half an hour to finally win the title after a long wait. Of course, as you know, even today, many people say that the goal was offside and that they rubbed Juventus, and the media started talking about it again after Real Madrid recently faced Juventus in the 2017 final and Dani Alves mentioned it, but for us we can't be sure if it's true or not because at that time there weren't so many cameras, I mean even today with VAR and dozens of cameras, sometimes we can't be sure. But there are two pieces of evidence that both sides are using against each other. The first is that when Roberto Carlos kicked the ball, a defender touched it and it went to Mijatovic who was offside and scored. And the law says, if a shot from a teammate rebounds off a defender directly to an attacker who was in an offside position when the shot was taken, it's considered an offside violation. But as you can see, they use the verb rebound, which is usually used when the ball bounces off the crossbar, which means that the player should have been stationary and not trying to change the direction of the ball. But as you can see here, the defender tried to play the ball and lost it. But some say he wasn't, so we can move on to another piece of evidence, which is that Mijatovic wasn't even offside. To prove this, we have to go back a little bit before the ball went to Roberto Carlos. Here we have the right back Pesotto, and if we move to the other angle, we can't see him until Mijatovic almost scored. Here we see him running back to the line, and after he scored, he looked at the referee and didn't say anything, which means he might have come back until it was too late. And as you can see, the players didn't protest at that time. I mean, given the fact that the ball came from the defender, with all the technology we have today, we would have different opinions. But it has to be considered a goal, because it's unique. It was scored in the 66th minute, and the last time Real Madrid won the Champions League was in 66, when they beat Partizan Belgrade in the final, the club where Mijatovic started his career and played. And that title was, without a doubt, the key to all the trophies that followed, and made Real Madrid the best club in the world because a lot of football fans who think otherwise, or when they try to minimize the value of the Champions Leagues won by Real Madrid, say that they won them when there was only black and white and five of them in a row. But to be fair, even if you're not a Real Madrid fan, let me tell you something. First, why didn't the other clubs do it too? I mean, they weren't competing alone. They lost two finals in 1962 and 1964. And second, even if we forget those six titles and only count the Champions League they won after they rebranded it, they still have eight titles and maybe more, depending on when you are watching, which is more than the other teams have won, even if we count all the titles they even won when it was just black and white. 